दिगंबर 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 ओके सौरभ यस सर आर यू जॉइनिंग कैन यू हेयर माय यस यस सर कैन यू दिगंबर 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 लेफ्ट हुआ सर शायद सो खाली वीडियो उतना ही दिख रहा है माइक नहीं दिख रहा है नहीं लो दिख रहा है एक काम सौरभ एक काम करो आपका हाँ वीडियो वीडियो क्लोज करो थोड़ा हाँ हाँ सर बर, आ, सिर्फ साउंड उतना ही रखो जब डाउट हाँ। आएगा तभी ओपन कीजिए थोड़ा डाटा कंज्यूमशन कम करेगा वो हाँ 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 ओके थोड़ा रवि सौरभ सौरभ कैन यू हेयर माय वॉइस हां सर हां सर कैन यू हेयर यस सर ओके 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 अभी स्टार्ट सेशन थोड़ा नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करेंगे यस सर ओके हां अगर साउंड अगर मेरा नहीं आ रहा है कुछ प्रॉब्लम हुआ तो थोड़ा ओपन करके म्यूट ओपन करके बता देना हां कुछ डाउट रहेगा भी ओके करो तो अब थोड़ा म्यूट कर साउंड so in the last class we were discussed regarding the residency uh, resistance but welding <laughs> i hope so everybody have understood the residency but welding so if, please reply yes sir yes sir after assess okay so we will go yes. further now we'll uh, see the projection welding how does the projection welding does okay so please mute your sounds so see in the projection welding you can see in this diagram over here 
just i will take the highlighter spotlight so see in this diagram there are two shafts are been used okay so these are the two flat shafts are been used so in this uh, diagram you can see the construction in this construction you can see these shafts are one is an fixed to an portion another portion and another one is a movable one okay so the movable shaft is there so this is what the construction of this shaft and this shaft works like an electrodes okay these shafts are the cylindrical shafts now you can see over here the workpiece are there one workpiece is fixed to the fixed shaft and another workpiece is fixed to the movable shaft or the cylinder you can tell it as a cylinder okay and so you can see for the movable electro rod or the cylinder you can see over here the workpiece which is made embossing embossing means what you can see over here uh see there is a dome shape is given this and this so the two embossing shapes are there over here where at the at the top you can see there is a gap is there from where the pressure is been applied and only this part is been come out by the surface of the workpiece that is called as an embossing embossing is been done so see when you write on your paper on your notes okay when you write with your pen or the pencil on the notes when you turn that page at the back side if you seen the letters which you have written that has been merged or you can uh, uh, what you can say you can experience that the letters are come out only that particular sa letters are come out and the shape is been adopted at the back side have you seen okay so that is called as an embossing so are you hearing me properly ha yes, sir sir okay. okay yes sir so that ah. is, okay okay so that is what the embossing <laughs> that is called as an embossing okay so this is how the embossing is been done now you can see the operations descriptions they have given the process is used to an two flat and a larger cylindrical shaft water cooled copper electrodes so over here the copper electrode cylinders are been used because they are the good electrical conductivity or the conductor from over here the more power uh, power supply can be supplied for the development of the heat for the generation of the heat in the welding process okay while the other which the pressure is been applied and by the movable cylinder the pressure is also been applied the electrodes are connected to a step down transformer this both electrodes are connected to the step down transformer from where the ac or the dc current can be utilized for the welding purpose one of the workpiece contain the small projection or the embossment so just now i have told what is the embossment or the projection okay you can see in this diagram wait i will zoom it zoom it so see over here the embossment is been done so see at the bottom work piece how it is flat same way it is also is an flat only the projection on which part is to be joined to this part that projection or the that particular point of the workpiece or the part of that workpiece is been highlighted or done an embossing so you can see over here there is an pressure applied initially before joining to this movable electrode this workpiece is done embossing by any of the external source with the help of the hammer or the punch this workpiece part is been embossed or pressed in a downward direction above the surface of the workpiece now see this is an this has been placed over here you can see over here the white color that is an empty space or the cavity has been generated from where the pressure has been applied and this part of the workpiece is come down okay this is called as an embossing
okay now let us see the, how the operation is been carried out in this one okay. now what is the first thing is to be done just cleaning the surface of the this keep in your mind each and every welding processes this is the first point you have to write when you write the answer or the any of the notes of any of the questions in the welding process it may be any special welding or the arc welding the first uh, point is to be written that you have to clean the surface first of all clean the surface of the weld workpiece part which is to be weld or the edge of the workpiece is been cleaned which is undergoing for the process of the welding either <coughs> by chemically or either by a mechanically mechanically in sense by using the uh, wire brush for the cleaning the surface or a file file is nothing but then removing excess material from the upper surface this is the first thing and second thing by using the chemical solutions by dipping the workpiece in a chemical solution to remove the chemical contaminate contaminates means what the dirt particles oil grease okay whatever the atmospheric contaminants are attained or applied or has been gathered by that workpiece that has to be cleaned before going for the welding process this is a very important and the first point that you have to write and the second point what is what you have to do in the operations while doing the operations you have to switch on the power supply according to the heat generation okay how much heat you require if it, the thickness is less so the heat uh, or, or what you can say the heat to be produced should be less if the thickness is more the heat generation should be more according to that ac and the dc power supplies and the voltage is to be maintained of the transformer first thing second thing this you have to do well in this operations then the second you have to or uh, switch off the transformer power supply is been supplied to both the electrodes one is a moving electrodes and another one is an fixed electrodes this this is a cylinder okay this is a cylinder which is made of an copper alloy which is a good conductor of electricity now next what is been done the both the workpiece has been clamped on this both the cylinders okay by the the once one workpiece has been embossed you can see in this diagram it has been embossed over here then the power supply is been on when the power supply starts on when it go for the extreme level so that this workpiece part starts to melt over here and this part is also going to melt over here over here there is no consumption rod is been consumable rod is been used non consumable rod is been used no filler material is going to be used because this is a special type of welding process resistance welding process in the previous lecture of the class also i have told what is the resistance welding process over here the electrons are been collapse with each other dashes with each other the electrons are been resist or stop to move total circuit so see when the electrons moves in this all the circuit okay from over here to your transformer from transformer to fixed electrode from fixed electrode to movable electrode so this is called as an open circuit when the circuit is been closed at a middle so it is called as an closed circuit because of the closed circuit is maintained over here the electrons are resist to move overall circuit resist to means what stop over there to for the moving at the end where it is going to be stop over there due to the collaborate uh, what you can say the dashing of that electrons or coming contacts with the electrons or rubbing of the electrons the heat is been generated because of that generation of the heat the workpiece material starts to melt over there when the workpiece material starts to melt both the parts of the workpiece are been melted projected projected means what this particular area of the workpiece only should melt that is it has been highlighted or projected <coughs> how it is highlighted and projected by doing embossment okay when this particular area has been melting over there this both the workpiece fused with each other fused means what both the liquid metals are been mixing with each other mixing of a liquid metal is called fusion fusion phenomena is occurring over there then afterwards complete uh, 
requirement of the liquid material or the complete area which or the edge which been completely melted then the power supply is been off once the power supply is been off the electricity generation uh, electricity supply has been off the generation of the heat starts to reduce the temperature of the heat starts to reduce once the temperature of the heat starts to reduce the liquid molten metal starts to convert into a solid form once it starts to convert into a solid form when it comes to the open atmosphere at a low temperature the welding starts to deposited over there and both the parts of the workpiece are been joined over there okay this is what the simple working procedure of a resistant projection welding resistant projection welding why it is called as a resistant projection welding the electrons are been resist over here first of all and second thing projection second thing the projection is been made on the workpiece that means what particular that area should be melt and that point should be joined over there okay everybody understood this resistance projection welding any doubts regarding this no sir okay let us continue with further yes now, sir okay now you can see some applications are there a very common use of the projection welding uh, is used for a special nuts okay that have been projected on the portion of the parts of an welded so to assemble so the process is used for the welding parts of the refrigerator condenser refrigerator racks and grilled okay so see where uh, sometimes there are uh, some of the nuts and the bolts just like a rivet you have you seen the rivet how the rivets are been joined okay when the nuts is been placed it should in the rivet it is been hammered to get a dome shape at such a time that nuts are been melted over there understood okay for such types of application this of uh, resistant welding process have been done now hello students yes sir can you hear me okay now we'll start with the friction welding okay so see so see in the friction welding so see everybody have operated the lathe in the last semester okay yes, so so the lathe which you have operated such a lathe type arrangement is done for the friction welding okay before going for the friction welding i will tell you just uh, last time you have uh, in the last class you have seen the butt resistant welding okay same phenomena is work in the friction welding also okay and these types of friction weldings are used for the high duty uh, uh, heavy duty pipelines of the cast iron have you seen the dam connection pipelines water supply pipelines are be done for the any of the city for supplying so it is very difficult uh, to weld that one so over there some of the friction pipes are welding welding has been done over there and not for the heavy duty and for the small types of pipelines pipes and the rod connections okay now let us see how does this friction welding is been done now see over here same way in the lathe lathe machine the headstock is there so the headstock is there over here the check is there okay in this check the workpiece is been hold okay this check is rotating this workpiece has been rota rotating over here and this is a movable part just like an you can uh, tell it like a tail stock in the lathe the tail stock is how does the tail stock moves like this way this also movable part moves but the head stock is in stationary or stable over here 
and the check is there in this which is used for holding the workpiece and allows the workpiece to rotate and over here also some of the clamping devices there or the holder is been attached to a movable part it work like a headstock and it is also moving in a horizontal direction by the help of this base over here there is a guides are made guideways are made on which this uh, movable part is been moving by holding the workpiece and this movable part is attached with the pressure cylinder okay hydro it this is a pressure cylinder it may be the hydraulic pneumatic or any other uh, uh, <coughs> medium can be used for the generation of the cylinder just you can imagine it may be the hydraulic or the pneumatic cylinder and it is operated by the operator by the means of the paddle lever or any of the controlling board or the switch okay for generation of the pressure now let us see the working of the friction welding how does it works and why it is called as a friction welding so see over here the headstock the workpiece is been clamped now okay the, before clamping the workpiece first point what you have to return clean the surface of the workpiece remove the dust particles oil particles grease particles either may be chemically or mechanically based okay this is the first point you have to write then second point in the friction welding what you are going to write the cleaned workpiece is to be clamped in the headstock the clean workpiece is to be clamped in the work uh, in a headstock between the, with the help of a check okay then another workpiece part which is to be joint is to be clamped in a movable part which is to be joint in a movable part by a clamper so the both the workpiece have been clamped properly for the rotation and the movement of the workpiece this is the second point second uh, third point switch on the power supply so that the headstock can revolve the check by the workpiece okay so you have to power switch on the power supply so that headstock the power supply comes to the electrical motor from where the transmission of the rotary motion is been done either by the means of gears or any of the or any of the pulleys bell transmission okay whatever the transmission is there from where the rotary motion is given to the check and the workpiece starts to rotate over here okay this is the second first thing again happens then the second thing is over here the workpiece which is been clamped in a mobile part is been slightly moves and touch towards the this surface tip surface of the workpiece which is been hold in the check this workpiece is been touched to this workpiece okay slightly then afterwards both the workpiece join with each other hello hello yes sir any problem no sir okay just you have started the sound that's why i asked any problem is sir okay. okay i will start okay mute it mute it please. so both the workpiece both the workpiece are been touched with each other with when they touch with each other what happens what happens both are in, one is in revolving position and another is in stationary what happens the friction starts to generate over there both the workpiece starts to rub with each other when they rub with each other the friction is been generated a friction force is been generated with the help of the continuous rubbing and the high friction force the heat is been generated between both the workpiece when the heat is been generated what happens the workpiece starts to adopt that heat and starts to melt when the workpiece starts to melt over here both the face of the workpiece starts to melt over here with the help of the external pressure force okay by the operator either it may be the pandal or the lever or any controlling system this piston cylinder is been applied and this piston cylinder applied the force on this workpiece and make that workpiece to joint okay make that workpiece to touch more deeper with this workpiece then the power supply is been off once the power supply is been off the liquid molten metal in which the uh, both the edges of the workpiece starts to solidified over here when it starts to solidified over here 
after complete of the joining of both the workplace then at the last the pressure is been released once the pressure is been released the workpiece is been joined over there and it is been removed from the check and the moving part that is an clamp by removing the clamp both the workpiece has been removed now you can see over here with the help of the axial force and rotating force rotating force is applied in the headstock and axial force is applied in a movable part now you can get the butt weld after removing the pressure the workpiece is removed it will looks like in such a way this is how the simple construction and the operations of the friction welding understood dear friends do you all understood this yes sir any doubts regarding that no sir you uh -huh. no doubt let us further yes sir hello yes sir so see see i will give the example of the, uh, not an example you cannot say that the example but you get the proper idea okay so any of the this one you are taking what you can say the uh, uh, fabric if you are taking you have to uh, join the two papers you are having a some fabric we call the fabric or on the one side of the paper then you keeping the another paper over there and you apply the force on that one is it have you experienced that one yes okay for the joining purpose once the liquid uh, paste is converted into a solid and the paper is joined so you are removing the external load or the pressure which you applied on the paper. then you get that both the paper joint same way in the friction building a new joint okay both the workpiece then afterwards once they have been joined the pressure is been released and you will get the finish uh, this one uh, weld job okay. so this, this is all the friction building Now let us see the.